when summer starts I usually like to work with peaches or some of the summer fruits more and um, they didn't have any peaches that were ripe and so I decided to go with the nectarine and um, that's what we're going to be working with today. It's not always as easy as you think it's going to be to open these guys up. Kind of have to deep hit them the best you can. This one's super juicy. Okay, so I've fought with my nectarines and I've gotten my pits out. Um, as you can see, like these are overripe, so they're really point in the middle. And these are not really that right. Um, and from there, I've already coated a pan because I'm going to broil these with some melted butter. And I have some melted butter on the side. And what I want to do is I'm just going to stick these in here. Um, and I don't want the skin to stick to the pan, which is why I've already put those, put a layer of butter on there. I love mint. I think it tastes, smells so delicious. I love everything about it. I try to add it to as many things as I can. And I think, especially when you're working with summer fruits, it just really brightens up a dish. And, um, and obviously I'm going to add ice cream. So it adds a little brightness to that really creamy flavor. And so um, just a little trick when you're cutting up your fresh spices is that you just take a bunch, then you take one of the bigger leaves and you roll them up all together, and then you slice them like this. Just makes it way easier to cut them, and not a lot of fuss that way. And I'm just going to add it into my butter. This guy got away, so he just gets thrown away. <laughs> Um, as you can see, we're kind of working in a small space, which I think is kind of nice for you to see because not everyone has those like dream all-star food network kitchens. Obviously, we all wish that we could have like a little island in the middle and just chop away and, you know, our kids can be playing in the backyard. Not that I have kids, but, you know, and then we can like go out to the beach or whatever, like Jada, De Laurentiis, but unfortunately, we don't all have that. Um, but let me put away this butter now that we don't need it. Um, and I can put aside this mint. And so, um, like I said, unfortunately we don't have that, so we have smaller spaces, and that's okay because it means you can cook at home too. So I have my melted butter with my mint, and um, we're gonna put a little bourbon in. So I'm, I use butter because I want it to be able to like really crisp up. And I'm using just a little bit of bourbon just to give it a little bit more flavor. Um, and, you know, usually you could just probably just add a syrup onto these things, but I always, if I have the opportunity to have something like marinating, I like that because it gives time for the nectarines to really soak up all of the flavor. Um, and then I'm putting some lemon juice to add a little bit more brightness to it. Um, I like to really build my flavors, so if I can, you know, for me, if I can add as many um, different flavors and levels of taste into one dish, I, that's what I like to do. Um, I think it's nice when you have like a lot of notes and you taste something and you know it tastes really good and you're kind of like, is that nutmeg? Is that, you know, it tastes kind of smoky but it has this to it. Um, I just think our palate really responds to that. So obviously we want this to be sweet. Um, so some maple syrup, I love, I mean, if you're from the South, you probably have worked with peaches your whole life, so, <laughs> you know that a little bit of bourbon and some maple syrup are going to taste pretty good with peaches. Um, but the other thing is, is like, I wanted there to be kind of a syrupy feeling to it, especially when we add, um the ice cream later. Actually, it's gelato because I wanted something creamy and I wanted a little nod to Italy because the first time I have ever had grilled or broiled peaches was when I was in Italy, which um, is not something that 
I think most people experience. I think most people experience it like in the South or something like that if you're from America. Um, but not me. I had it in wine for the first time and um, I just loved it. It brought so much sweetness to it. So then just run of the mill cinnamon. Nothing too fancy. I kind of just eye it. Um, but it's probably about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. Probably a teaspoon. Just mix it all together. And then we're just going to take this take our peaches, or our nectarines, and just kind of fill it up, let it spill over, fill it up and let it spill over. So, it'll be filled with all these yummy flavors, and we're just going to let it sit. Just going to kind of let it sit here on the counter for a little bit, and uh... I'll grill them up in probably an hour. All right, so we have the nectarines all marinated and I'm gonna stick them in the oven. Um, they're looking kind of good. I can't wait to see what happens. And I can already smell the butter and the cinnamon and the mint. So I can't wait until they're actually baking. All right, so I have my oven set for about 350. We're going to leave them in there for about 10, 15 minutes, probably 10. And um, then I'm going to set it to broil so we can get a nice crispy top on them. Sweet. So the um, nectarines are baked through. So we're going to stick them back in, close the door, turn off the oven, put on the broil. We're going to keep it on low. Broil it only for like a minute or two because broiling happens faster than you think and you can easily go from golden brown to fucking burnt really quickly so we're just gonna keep our eye on that so on the note of burnt that's exactly what I did because I was really busy reading the bitches review of Game of Thrones um, <laughs> so I mean it's still okay it's not so burnt that you can't eat it um, but it's just a little crispier than what I was hoping for. So, now that we have these glorious nectarines all done, we're going to scoop them into our bowl. I'm going to do one of each nectarine because one was more ripe than the other and so everybody gets like a little taste of something. <laughs> Since, there, since there's only two of us tonight, that makes it a little easier. All right, and then onto that, I do a little scoop of ice cream. Well, it's, it's gelato, and I got toasted almond because I thought that would be a really great flavor pairing with what um, flavors we've already put into it. Um, I know that toasted pecans and things like that are really popular with bourbon and peaches so I kind of just thought this was like a nice little Italian twist onto I guess southern cooking and then while it might be a little burnt I'm going to use a little bit of this a little bit of what we used for um marinating the peaches in. It's supposed to be a little more syrupy, but we <laughs> boiled it a lot, so it's becoming more like a thick sugar. I'm just going to scoop some of it onto here. Makes like a nice little caramel sauce. Mm. I just ate a little bit of it, and I will tell you it has... It's very sweet. Has kind of a bit of that maple syrup sweetness, which provides a lot of flavor, but it's really rich with that butter and that bourbon, and then that mint just pops out. And it's kind of like a caramel mojito. So, what can be bad about a caramel mojito? All right, and so your plate should look yummy and melty, and you should be ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. <laughs> 